Today, first part of the happy and healthy in the run up to Christmas, we're going to look at health. Um, loads of people getting sick and I know it's been constant so September there's that big push and you're like okay after the summer go 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 and you know you're running and you're running and you're doing all this work and doing all this work and then what you get sick at Christmas you get sick at New Year's or just after all of that all that hard work you can't even play that sucks so there are some preventative things we can do for that so the first preventative thing is to eat properly because there are some foods that kind of suppress your immune system so you want to give your immune system a fighting chance so eat tons of fruit and veg I would say superfoods I think superfoods is a bit of a funny word it's a great marketing thing you know you've got kale seeds and then you've got turmeric turmeric and all these things just eat good food eat food that's not been through 100 processes and then it's beyond recognition eat food that you can tell what it is it comes from a good place and it will nourish you and it's worth investing a bit of time and money thinking about it because when you're sick you'll be sick for far longer anyway so a little bit of planning does the job so if you already have a cold and we've all been there I've been there this year and you're like <coughs> <coughs> Um, for a really for longer than you kind of wish to it kind of lingers doesn't it and you just can't break it It's been like a week two weeks. You're not really you don't have a hacking cough You don't need to stay in bed anymore, but you've got all this slime in your chest So a thing that I did I really was quite reluctant to do it at first because I Won't get out of bed unless there's a promise of food and this involved kind of like a little bit of semi fasting I guess it's a cantaloupe uh, cold remedy basically it was in the some food diet book and it was recommended by Ryan and the thing is I was very skeptic I was like you know feed a cold starve a flu I've got a cold so don't starve me but this actually works so basically the night before you don't eat you go to bed and you eat nothing until 12 at 12 onwards you eat a whole ripe cantaloupe melon and then for the next four hours you don't eat a thing and that actually breaks the cold. It gives your immune system a chance to fight the cold for the last time, the final battle, as opposed to your energy being taken up into to your digestion. So instead of digesting, all your energy can be used by your immune system to finally combat that cold and get rid of it for sure, forever. Yay, victory! So. My other way, way two, is congee. So congee is like a kind of rice porridge. Uh, it's Chinese. Uh, my mom, she's way into Chinese medicine at the moment, so she's always like brewing something. Or it's very cool actually, because I benefit from a lot because I learn from her, I guess. What it is basically, it's just rice cooked until it's kind of dis disintegrated into a pulp. You pop spring onion in it and ginger and then whatever else you choose. The more nutritional the better. And because this pulp is so easy to digest, it kind of enhances the properties of anything else that you put in. So the Chinese say that it tonifies the blood and the qi and harmonizes the digestion. Similar kind of principle, because your body doesn't need to concentrate on digesting, it can combat that cold. So other things that may work, there's no harm in having a bit of extra vitamin C. It's one of those things actually, You, if you take in too much, you actually pee the bit that you don't need out. So it's not that you're gonna overdose on vitamin C. But again, I don't know how, it's not actually been proven, proven to work, but it does boost your immune system, but it doesn't, cure a cold if that makes sense and the last thing is to wrap up warm so I did this last year I made a big mistake and I was sick for quite a long time I picked up kung fu last year and I left my class and I didn't put a hat I didn't have a hat on my head for one minute it was one minute until I grabbed it out of my bag and put it on my head that was all it took for me to get sick just one minute <gasps> so within that time my head got cold and that was it. Apparently this is a complete no-no in Chinese medicine as I've now learned from my mom and my Kung Fu master. Um, so yeah, don't do that. And just wrap up warm in general. I think like, you know, we still like to stay fit and go to the gym and all these things this time of year, especially like we're eating all this extra stuff as well. So we're like, okay, we gotta work it off. 
but make sure you wrap up warm when you leave you know your muscles get all nice and warm and your body gets all nice and warm and it's such a shock to the system going from hot to cold or maybe take the time just to kind of properly cool down before you leave the premises so that it's not an extreme change for your body so in summary eat well eat nutritiously eat good two if you get a cold cantaloupe or congee Three, wrap up warm. Don't dress down, dress up. Layers are cool, layers are so sexy. You look like the Michelin man, that's what you want, yeah. So, <laughs> um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, any suggestions, please comment down below and keep your eye out for how to stay happy and healthy in the run up to Christmas part two. Bye.